Hi, Pete and Grant here from the Purple House at 4th. And we're just bringing people a timely reminder uh, today of the time of year we need to be supporting our bodies, particularly our liver, because our liver gets a bit of a workout uh, during, or, the during this season, but it, it's not a workout. It, it probably hates this season, really, our, our, Don't li say that. our liver. Our liver normally uh, is, well, it is our detoxification organ. It, <clears> it gets rid of all the waste out of our body. But during this uh, so time, of, time of year, people are celebrating Christmas and all that sort of thing, and, and they probably... Tipping their elbow a bit too much, or that's true actually. And, and mm. the alcohol is hard on the liver. Now the liver, it filters your blood every three, three minutes. minutes. Yeah, three minutes, which is amazing. Well, if actually, you think about it. I should be clarifying that because people probably think every three minutes the liver switches on, does a quick <laughs> detox, and then turns off again. <laughs> no, what we mean is like. It takes three minutes for your liver to filter your entire blood volume of like five or six liters if you're a man or four to five liters if you're a woman, which is totally super amazing. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. And it, and it cleans the blood, gets rid of the toxins out, mm -hmm. of, out of your bloodstream. That's right. There's no other machine in the whole wide world that can actually do that, right? Otherwise, scientists would have already come up with some sort of machine that you just plug your blood stream into and then it cleans it and then and then you feel good again we actually have our own inbuilt in-house dishwasher and peter and i used to actually have a, a separate business like a healthy eating place next to the clinic where we had a commercial dishwasher how long did it I think it used to and take the commercial dishwasher what three minutes yeah about, about three three minutes to do it and yeah that uh, but it wasn't really, I mean, it's not as clean. The dishes used to come out cleaned up. Yeah. But the commercial dishwasher, they kind of recycled the water from what I yeah. remember. I mean, but, we didn't think it was all that crash hot. It's definitely, your liver is better than that. But anyway, our liver, we, we turn alcohol, if we drink a bit of alcohol, we turn that alcohol back into sugar. And... People that drink a lot of alcohol are known to get a fatty liver, mm -hmm. fat stored in the liver. Now, we don't have to drink alcohol to get fat stored in the liver. About 38% of all people worldwide have a fatty liver, non-alcoholic fatty liver. It's, it's it, called it's, fatty liver syndrome. Eh? Yeah, non-alcoholic fatty liver syndrome. And it's increasing. It's due to not, it's due to having far too many high starch carbohydrates, mm -hmm. often. Mm -hmm. And all mm -hmm. the grain products, all the flour products, we make six teaspoonfuls of sugar out of the flour out of one slice of bread. So, yeah. and we can, our bodies can utilize one of those and we store the rest. And one of the first places we store it is in actually in our liver. And that clogs up the liver so it can't do its work properly and can't get rid of the waste properly. And then you <coughs> store up fat. I just cannot just interrupt with my Asperger's brain for a sec. <coughs> um, for women, Excuse apparently, me. there is no real healthy alcohol limit at all. Like, I think it's uh, a tablespoon a day, maximum, twice a week, I think it was actually. And that's, that's uh, the upper limit. <coughs> okay. Peter! He always does it when we watch a movie or something. <laughs> Whenever you watch a movie, Excuse me, people. gets the sneezes and he sneezes really loud. Yeah, the internet's playing up a bit today as well. It's telling us, anyway, all sorts of stuff here. So, for women in particular, I just want to say this women can't handle alcohol very well at all. It's different to men. It's not good for men either, but women shouldn't have more than two tablespoons a week, apparently. And that this has been investigated by uh, doctors who are very interested that specialize in the health of the female bodies. So the, the liver in the fe female also has to break down the hormones like all, uh, all months, like it's like yesterday's hormones are different to today's, right? So the liver has a big task to get rid of yesterday's hormones and to supply the body with the right hormones for today because it does like a curveball thing. And you know when it's not working well because you feel crabby and you get short-fused and 
you get frustrated no, I'm, I'm with your husband's I'm needs. I'm not allowed to say that. <laughs> you're not like, oh, you're like you get frustrated with your husband <laughs> making each chewing noises and all that sort of thing. Right? So literally it's called shit on the liver. So, but guys can get away with a little bit more alcohol. But we, um, we, we know that people, um, probably normal people like Pete and I are probably not even classified normal. They just drink a ton of alcohol during this every day during we, their holidays. We've got an Airbnb <laughs> cottage, and I'm I'm <laughs> I amazed amazed at the amount of mm -hmm. empty cans and bottles that we take away after one after night. one night for two people. It, yeah. it is crazy. And, you know, so we actually live a sheltered life because we um, look after. I helped pretty well uh, because we need to, right? We both had like issues in the past. So what 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 you can do is to help the liver get rid of the waste is dilate the bile ducts, mm -hmm. and that helps the if, even if you've stored a little bit of fat in there, it'll dilate the bile ducts so the waste can run, the bile can run mm -hmm. properly, and beet flour is the thing that does that. Do we and, still have enough beet flour in stock? Uh, I'm hoping we do. Yeah. <laughs> because this time of year, people need a lot of it, really. Mm -hmm. And it is uh, an amazing product to open the bile ducts. It also uh, will dilate the arteries, the circulatory system. So it helps, it's really good for with, helps with blood pressures, heart mm -hmm. and kidney disease. And, and and hormones, everything. Everything, really. And... But particularly the digestion of fats is that bioflow is needed as well. And digesting mm. fats, having fats for our energy source is the cleanest fuel we could give our bodies at, a, at the cellular level as well. So mm. our cells work properly, then we work properly. Uh, exactly. But uh, people think good clean fat is like canola oil, but that's absolutely no. the wrong oil, isn't it? Canola oil is super toxic. Um, all the yellow oils that you see in the supermarket shelf in plastic bottles are the most toxic, toxic uh, substances, way worse than, they than 10 bottles of wine. They created most of the chronic disease in the, yeah. in the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're actually um, an anti-immune um, um, product. So when people have to go on, what do they call it again? It's immune a, suppressant. Yeah, it's an immune suppressant. And it's also used... Uh, by farmers to spray on crops like to kill it's a herbicide so you don't really want to have like chippies or um, cooking done in canola oil which everyone does yeah. it, it grieves Peter mind so much like we were watching a documentary of a little old couple living somewhere in by themselves in Siberia and uh, they had a really healthy lifestyle like and they were in 80 or 90 years old and harvesting their own products and then suddenly we see the old farming lady open up a bottle of yellow canola oil and she was cooking a food in that so i mean everyone in the whole world is convinced that this is good for you but it's the worst toxin mm. so for your liver as well your liver literally gets a karate chop every time you use it um so it makes your hair fall out as well, it makes your skin dull, it literally destroys your organism. So anyway, your body looking get it on the bright side, your liver is so, so amazing that it's actually completely new, like utterly replaced by a new liver every six to eight weeks, which is totally incredible, and isn't that, it, when you yeah. think about it. And so like, if a liver transplant also uh, gets chopped up into what three bits or something and it will grow six, six I think yeah you can grow a complete new liver from a sixth of the liver which is amazing and, so just yeah. think of the life force that's that's that your liver needs or or can give to itself the life force it has to keep your blood clean to keep you healthy it has 500 functions and, in the body and actually for the liver to work properly it actually by having good fats, that yeah. assists the liver to work properly. Mm -hmm. so it, it gets it squeezing and... and so yeah. butter is good fat, butter cream. Meat, meat fats, butter cream, coconut oil, and the best runny oil that you can ever have is macadamia nut oil. If you want to have a plant-based oil. If you oil. want to have a plant-based oil, have that one. I used to think olive oil was okay, but it does have a 10% linoleic acid 
uh, content, which is not that's that's the oil in plant-based oils that's no good for us that creates yeah. inflammation and premature aging but right macadamia nut oil only has a two percent content mm -hmm. of linoleic acid mm -hmm. yeah so important the reason why it's so important is because you basically a, a community of 50 trillion cells that's all if you look at peter mean like pitch 50 trillion cells so am i and the cells um, I have a cell membrane, every, 50, every cell has a cell membrane that's made of oils and fats. Actually, it's like mostly saturated fats. Apparently, we're, we're about 70% fats. fats, and yeah. most of that is saturated. Which is like and animal fats. Saturated in cholesterol, mm -hmm. yeah. So It'd be mostly cholesterol, by the way, yeah. And our, our nervous system needs a lot of saturated fat and cholesterol to put nice uh, insulation around the nerves so the nerves don't short circuit and if you yeah if you don't have enough healthy fats in your diet then you set yourself up for conditions like all sorts of stuff like adhd which is very common um anyway we can do another post mm. on it we were talking about the liver so how do you know if your liver is working well or not say you have no other symptoms you're actually feeling pretty good if you're lucky well you can still check your bowel content so after you've done a poo in the toilet it's really good to have a look what the color is and you'll notice the more carbohydrates you eat the lighter it becomes which is not a good thing so the color of your bowel content should probably be like the color of the blind behind us do you reckon if you can see it in it or a little bit darker. A little, darker. little bit darker mm -hmm. even, and it's the bile that gives it the colour. Yeah. So if you, if it's lighter, or if it's as light as our blind, or lighter, your your liver is in distress, so you need to give it a helping hand. Uh, and to get the bile flowing, we recommend beet flow, as you've already heard us tell you a hundred times. For people who don't have a gallbladder, you need to supplement with ox bile, that's usually what we recommend. Mm. Plus also beet flow to keep your own bile flowing because gallbladder disease which is gallstones they start in the liver actually they are, they are little cholesterol blobs that get mm -hmm. caught in the gallbladder and calcify and then people have their gallbladder out but the, the issue has been resolved the issue is still happening in your in your liver mm -hmm. yeah so anyway the good news is uh, christmas is nearly here <laughs> which is and our, i mean to celebrate your life if you're still alive you know like every day is a birthday in my opinion um every day is a bonus and i'm saying that from my own experience because pete he nearly drowned when he was 19 and i had a near-death experience when i was 43 so we both really celebrate every day and treat every day as if it's just like a beautiful gift um and your body is amazing so you have a new liver every six weeks you even have new eyeballs every two days and every part of your body is always replacing we just recommend that you make sure you stay hydrated drink more water have lots of salt as well like uh, unrefined himalayan salt um, and then supplement your during this month especially with beet flow a really good enzyme like omnizyme and a really really good probiotic like immunosymbiotic that keeps your immune system healthy because your immune system is like 90 percent more or less in your tummy right depending on the health due, of the gut due to the good gut bacteria yeah and then uh, so we also put all of this together as you all already know called in a package called the ultimate vitality boost which has got a vital mineral the beet flow of design immunosymbiotic and a vital mineral that's going to keep all your organs sticking over so and then fill up with good fats like yeah. enjoy um, enjoy christmas dinner so have have a nice roast with a few less of the <laughs> high starch carbohydrates but a lot of fat mm -hmm. yeah and, and enjoy it enjoy the and season and then you won't be hungry yeah. and yeah. um yeah just be happy that you're still alive and allow yourself to receive lots of love and lots of gifts and lots of attention and lots of blessings and really fill up your tanks mm. i know we're not at christmas yet though it's like oh, still a fortnight it's, away it's getting there though but the, also the thing is um spend 
a bit more time grounding because we've noticed how people, everyone gets very frantic and things go a bit crazy in haywire. So it's also really important to just find your off button and switch off and um, lie under a tree and stuff like that. It's also very beneficial. Anyway, the article, what we talked about, will be below the video. Our online shop is always open 24 seven. We don't have a holiday. The online shop doesn't have a holiday. So you can order products at your convenience and it's like dropped off at your doorstop. And uh, we're here to look after you. So check out our products, also our services. If you need a helping hand, we're here to help you. Is there anything else you needed to say, Pete? Well, I think that's we'll it, probably it? catch you again before Christmas. I think. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, next week. Thanks for tuning okay. in, everyone. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.